Hey everyone, welcome to Gallagher's Grub. Today I'm going to tell you about my newest grill, which also happens to be my oldest grill. This is the Weber Genesis 1000, and I'm going to tell you all about it, so stick around. So here is the Weber Genesis 1000. These are propane grills that Weber started manufacturing back in the early 1990s. So that would make this grill about 30 years old. And back then, these grills were made in the USA. Nowadays, Weber just designs their grills in the US. And of course, their manufacturing is done in China, like everything else. One of the defining features of the Genesis 1000 is the wooden handle, as well as the wooden paneling on the side and underneath. I've seen some people restore these panels with this grayish color, while other people use a natural wood finish, which also looks fantastic. And of course, this is a functioning wood side table here that comes up and locks into place. Over here, you've got these cool little wheels that hold the propane tank in place. Then of course, up here, you've got your drip pan. On the bottom, you'll find some basic Weber wheels on the right side and some small locking wheels on the left. On the front of the hood, right hand side, we've got a built-in thermometer and the grill can easily hit 500 degrees Fahrenheit, no problem whatsoever. Not bad for a 30 year old grill. Under the hood, we've got a three burner gas grill and the burners go front to back rather than left to right. For the grates, we've got these nice wide stainless steel grates with very little space in between the grates. I like that because food then won't fall through the grates. And just check out all these flavorizer bars. There's 13 of them in total. Talk about the old school Weber's being overbuilt. The three gas knobs are over on the right side of the grill as opposed to on the front of the grill like the modern day Weber's. And it uses this push button ignition that doesn't require a battery. And as you can see, it fires right up every time. Then located right beneath the gas knobs, we've got these three stainless steel hooks that hook onto the steel frame of the grill itself. Perfect for hanging your tools. And one little last tidbit I'm gonna leave you with here is if you look at the vintage logo, the grill is actually to the left of the word Weber, whereas on the modern day logo, they've moved the grill over to the right of the word Weber. So now you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the vintage Weber Genesis 1000 in all its glory. So that's it for the Weber Genesis 1000. I just, I absolutely love the look of this grill. And with the red next to my red Kamado Joe, I'm just totally excited for summer. The only problem I have with this grill is it's so clean that I actually don't want to cook on it. <laughs> so that could be an issue. If you like this grill and you want one of these, the guy I got it from is up in Massachusetts and you can DM me and I will give you his number and you can go introduce yourself to him. And he's, he does a lot of these. He's got at least a garage full of them and he does a great job like you can see. So if you're in the Massachusetts area, DM me, I'll get you his contact info and then you can get yourself a Weber Genesis 1000 and uh, not cook on it like me. <laughs> if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, leave a comment down below so I can hear your thoughts, and of course, keep on grilling. <laughs>